there's something for everyone. Whoops. Hello, and thank you for tuning in to another exciting Mist Kit Roundup. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the very best Sawbone Vape Kits available in early 2023. Subohm has taken a little bit of a back seat in vape design as of late. Most people these days are focused on pod kits, disposables, and starter kits, which generally tend to replicate the feeling of a cigarette. But that is not what made vaping famous. No, what made vaping catch everyone's attention was seeing people walk down the street, kicking out vast, thick, corporeal clouds of delicious high VG vapor. And today we want to do a little something for those of you who are still faithful to the sub ohm altar. We're going to show you the very best cloud chasing kits that you can currently get a hold of. And we hope that once this is over, you'll have a much better understanding of where the sub ohm design ethos currently is in the vaping sector and you'll be able to make a much better choice about how you kick out your clouds. Let's get into it. Now, with the nature of Subohm being what it is, most of these kits are gonna be slightly on the larger side, but for number 10 of the best Subohm vape kits of 2023, we wanna give you something that's a little bit more travel efficient. And we've gone with the UWell Crown D pod vape kit, an 1100 milliamp vape kit with a 35 watt maximum output, which is frankly quite impressive from such a small device. Very thin, extremely lightweight in its build, fits very easily into any pocket or purse, but it's not just a travel vape. There's actually a remarkable amount of features packed into this little kit here. It has five distinct user modes. You've got a uh, regular power mode, which lets you assign the wattage. You've got voltage mode, which instead uses the metric of voltage for your outgoing power. You've got curves mode, which allows you to set by the second fluctuations of power output. You've also got bypass mode, which kicks out the maximum amount of power for the coil that is installed and customized mode, which gives you even more options. That's a frankly incredible suite of functions to fit into such a small diminutive device. And whilst 1100 milliamp isn't quite gonna be enough to get you through all day session vaping at the 35 watt maximum, this is a wonderful machine for any sub owner who is on the go. Number nine, things are gonna start getting a little bit bulkier, but we're still not talking about the dual battery behemoths you're gonna start seeing near the end of this roundup. No, at this one, we wanna give you a device that is excellent for beginners at sub -ohming. and we've gone for the Smok RPM 100, the latest and potentially greatest in the RPM line of pod kits, which Smok used to revolutionize the way we look at pod vaping devices. The RPM100 does not bog you down with a plethora of superfluous features, user functions and modes that you frankly aren't necessarily going to need if you just want a simple, casual vaping device. It takes a single 18650 or 21700 battery to operate. Always nice to be able to swap out your batteries in case one dies. You can also adjust the airflow with a wonderfully large airflow control ring. You've got really simple, quick refill method with the sliding top fill there. It is a lovely machine for anyone who doesn't really care too much about the crazy features and they just want a relatively portable sub ohm device that can still kick out a maximum power of 100 watts, which is gonna be able to produce a vast amount of cloudage, which is also gonna be assisted by the wide bore mouthpiece. Unfortunately, you can't change the wide bore mouthpiece on this one, which is a slight downside to it. But if you are just looking for a starter vape kit that's gonna be able to kick out some serious clouds, you really can't do much better than the Smok RP RPM 100. And if replaceable batteries aren't necessarily your thing, the Smok RPM 85 has an internal battery. So there's something for everyone. And number eight, we've got something for the good, the bad, and the clumsy, and that is the Vupu Argus XT. One of the most durable vape kits we have ever had the chance to play with over here. The Vupu Argus XT has IP68 graded damage protections against reasonable drops from reasonable distances, dust protection so you can use it on the beach or in a room full of sawdust without having to worry, and it can withstand being briefly submerged in, I think, up to about a meter's depth of water without breaking. That is a fantastic feature for anyone who has slight butterfingers like myself. You also get a lovely little shield over the charging port here just to prevent anything from getting where it's 
not supposed to be. The Vupu Argus XT comes with the MAAT tank, which is fully compatible with Vupu's TPP coil range, giving you some excellent sub ohm cloud producing functionality. And you also get several user functions on this, such as turbo mode, RBA mode and smart mode for those of you who don't really want to worry about where the wattage is and you just want it to be automatically assigned. The Vupu Argus XT is a wonderful machine. I do think that the lanyard ring on here is a little bit superfluous because I'm not sure who wants to wear this as a necklace, but if you do, we like your style. And the Vupu Argus XT is a device that can take a licking and keep on kicking. And number seven, we got a real dazzler for you. One of our favorite single 18650 sub ohm kits, the Freemax Marvos X. A very lightweight kit, which nonetheless has a 100 watt max output. You've got a very ergonomic design, an extremely accessible battery bay port just here, free max coils, which anyone will know produce some of the best flavor there is, and one of our favorite features about this, not only do you get a lovely translucent plastic design here, but let's take a look at these lights. Oh, isn't that pretty? Ain't that pretty? Maybe that's a little too eye-catching for some of you out there, but I know there's a lot of you out there who like a little bit of flair with your sub ohms. Anyone who's kicking out clouds doesn't hate attention, and a device like this is gonna be a real conversation piece. The Freemax Marvos X is a lovely single 18650 device that can kick out some serious clouds while cutting some nice style. Coming up to the halfway point now, and at number six, we've got the Vupu Drag H80S. In our opinion, a chain vapors delight. The Drag H80S takes a single 18650 battery, and once that's loaded up, you've got a maximum wattage output of 80. Now, that might not match up to some of the really powerful kits we're looking at today, but with the HADS, you get a lot of longevity. It comes with a smart mode loaded onto it, which can automatically detect the right wattage for the given coil that you have in here. So you won't accidentally be putting it up to a power level that's gonna burn it out instantly. And it also comes with an eco mode that can be activated once your battery charge is as low as 40%, tremendously extending the lifespan of your battery and ensuring an all day puffing sensation, making it a chain vapors dream. It's also fully compatible with the Vupu PNP coil system. And whilst it does come with two lovely sub ohm meshed coils that can produce some fantastic clouds, it is also compatible with the PNP TR1 coil, which is 1.2 ohms in resistance. So whilst it wasn't its intended use function, this wonderful long lasting device can also be used for MTL hits when the mood does strike you. And number five, things are getting a little chunkier now, as you should expect for a sub ohm vape kit roundup. And we've got the Loss Vape Thelema Quest Kit, a wonderful 200 watt sub ohm kit with I'm so glad to see it. Translucent plastic designs. Of course, if you're not really into that, you can get ones that just have a solid opaque sleeve, but my God, I really miss translucent plastics from my childhood. This device, whilst it does come with the UB Pro Tank Hybrid on top, which delivers some fantastic flavors from the UB Pro coil system, it's loaded up with temperature control functions for several different varieties of steel, meaning anyone who prefers to use an RDA or an RDTA to produce their own coils can absolutely take advantage of all of the functions on this kit, producing not only vast clouds, but incredibly rich flavors, making the Lost Vape Thelema Quest our favorite sub ohm vape kit for those of you who put flavor ahead of all other forms of satisfaction. And number four, we've got a sub ohm vape kit that's gonna be great for anyone who's shopping for a cloud kit on a little bit of a budget, and that is the Geek Vape Obelisk 65 Pod Vape Kit. A wonderfully palm-sized vape kit, which despite its ergonomic size and you know reasonable dimensions, has a 2,500 milliamp internal battery capacity, easily giving you a full day's vaping, if not up to two days, if you're keeping it within a reasonable realm of wattage, which won't be too tricky, because because the maximum power output of the device is 65 watts. Whilst that might not quite reach the heady heights of some of these kits, it's not something you can complain about when you consider the very affordable price point of the kit. It unfortunately does lack some of Geek Vape's greater power protections that you usually expect from their devices, so don't go dropping this down any concrete stairs anytime soon, but it is wonderfully compact, fits very nicely in the pocket and has a really nice anti-spill system with top-based airflow so you're not likely to get any kind of messy hands. The slightly opaque 
pod does slightly frustrate me purely because it's a little bit hard to gauge what your juice levels are. But once again, considering the very low price point of the kit, it is absolutely worth every penny and it does not cost many of those. And number three, we have another great sub-ohm vape kit for beginners, which is also one of the largest battery capacities that you can find within vapes. And that is the Horizon Tech Durandal vape kit. A 3000 milliamp battery sits within this extremely lightweight and very comfortable ergonomic build. It might not be the most stylish kit out there and it might not have a whole host of user modes and functions loaded onto it. It's a very simple wattage based system, but what you do get with this is all day bliss. It has an 85 watt maximum output of power, meaning you can still kick out some impressive clouds through the very leak resistant pod on top, which is held in place with extremely durable magnets. So you're not likely to ever worry about any kind of wobble and this is not gonna fall out on you when you don't want it to. You've got a lovely, nice wide airflow control system here giving you total access over exactly how large and corporeal you want your clouds to be. And it really does bear repeating. 3000 milliamps is a huge amount of wattage, particularly in such a lightweight kit. And you're gonna find that even if you're taking this up to its maximum 85, potential power output, you're not going to find that this runs out of charge on you anytime soon, and it charges up remarkably quickly. The Horizon Tech Durandal is a little bit of a surprise hit. We didn't expect Horizon Tech to release a kit like this, but we're very glad they did because it's going to give a lot of new vapors the chance to get their hands on a long-lasting, extremely user-friendly and accessible sub ohm vape kit. Getting close to the end now, and at number two, we've got perhaps the most powerful device that we're gonna be looking at today, and that is the Smock G Priv 4. A wonderful return to form for Smock, who have spent a lot of time on pod kits. It is excellent to see them return to the design of fantastically functional dual 18650 battery setups. As you can see, you are gonna require two batteries to get this up and running, but once it is, you've got a maximum power output potential of 230 watts. You will be hard pressed to find a regulated mod that can kick out that much power, and that's not all. You've also got temperature control functions. You also have a two inch touch screen display that is an interesting development and one that you're gonna see in a moment has expanded beyond Smock's design ethos within the realm of vaping. You've also got this wonderfully satisfying big firing panel on the side here. This whole red panel here is the firing button so you can really clench a fist when you're ready to kick out some serious clouds. If I had any downsides to say about this kit, it's that it can be slightly noisy to use. Whilst the uh, V18 coils are fantastically flavorsome and kick out really nice corporeal thick clouds, the airflow ports can be a little bit noisy. Now, people who are into sub ohm kits usually aren't looking for stealth, but you might find it can be slightly frustrating if everyone is always looking over as to what is that hissing sound. But you're probably not gonna to be too worried about that. And at 230 watts, you've got a lot of power to play with with the Smock G Pro 4. Finally, here we are at number one, and we have what is in our eyes, the very best sub ohm vape kit in 2023's early days, and that is the Geek Vape T200. A shock surprise special from Geek Vape, which bears not only all of Geek Vape's usual durability, but a suite of cutting edge features which propel Geek Vape into potentially being the most innovative sub ohm vape kit developer currently on the market. It does, of course, take two 18650 batteries to fire up in a wonderfully padded little base here. So you'll find that you can just pop it down on any surface without scuffing anything. And you have a 200 watt maximum output, kicking out some vast clouds through the included Geek Vape Zeus tank, which doesn't just feature deliciously flavorsome and cloudy mesh coils, but also a leak resistant top based airflow, which is gonna keep your hands clean. But that's not all. This device has a 2.4 inch touch display. The largest touch display you will find in any sub ohm vape kit currently available. It also has a series of different functions and features to it, such as power mode, giving you full control over the wattage, smart mode that automatically assigns the optimal wattage level for your given coil, TC mode for those of you who like to use 
rebuildable coils, and the bypass mode for those of you who just want to kick out the maximum power every single time. And that's not all, this kit also comes with the usual IP68 damage pro Protections. So this device can take a serious tumble and still keep on rocking with a suite of incredibly cutting edge and advanced sub ohm functions. The Geekbake T200 has shocked us all. If I had anything to say about this kit that I didn't like, it's purely that if you look at it from this side, the tank isn't absolutely in the middle. That's it. Everything else about this kit is fantastic. And if you are a sub ohm vapor who's looking for the very best kit in early 2023, it is the Geekvate 2200. This will not let you down. Thank you for watching this video on the very best sub ohm vape kits available in early 2023. We really hope that you have enjoyed some of the kits here and their various different features and functions, and we hope that some of them have spoken out to you as the, exactly the kind of features that you want in a sub ohm vape kit. But we appreciate not everyone is a sub ohmer. If you prefer something a little bit neat and discreet, we've got pod vape kit videos. If you're just getting started, you're still on the cigarettes and you'd like to start vaping, we've got videos on the very best starter kits. We've even got things covering the best disposables out there. There's lots to see, so be sure to hit subscribe and check out some of our older videos because we've got plenty more coming for you in the near future of 2023. You guys have a wonderful day and thanks again for watching.